setting up a new phone here or a new user at least for this phone and I'm gonna try to set up the eSIM features this is the just the default pixel or the pixel case go to the standard setup fingerprint pin whole shebang Here, continue the setup I got plugged in because I was going through a lot of updates using a lot of power all right I forgot I'll power this guy off I did have a sim card in here so make sure you don't have a sim card in there to use the eSIM of course now let me power it back on all right so I'm on my Wi-Fi let's go to the mobile network and you see this option to download the sim instead so I had a sim I took it out if you didn't have a sim it would launch you right to this but you can do the same procedure so click on download the sim instead my network is T-Mobile T-Mobile did not give me a cue so it says you will still need to contact T-Mobile experts I contacted them on the message app in the T-Mobile app there's a messenger so I hit a message there I won't wait for them to respond all right so I had a problem with the T-Mobile chat they wouldn't give it to me on the regular app but T4 on Twitter always helps me out and they got it set up so let's go to settings and then go to network mobile network or download net uh, T4 sent me the QR code I'm gonna scan it so it buzzes so it says one T mobile is not available we're gonna activate it all right so number is activated and I'm just gonna check and see I'm gonna call myself and it did call with the correct number I'm gonna blur all this out of course but it does show me the correct number and if I call her on the correct number it seems to work just fine. There we go, eSIM, easy peasy. I always recommend using T-Force. They are always great for me. All right, now I have it updated on eSIM. You can see it's 5G there. So this is the Pixel 4a 5G, of course. Let's run a speed test. And it does say 5G, so let's see if it gets a better speed than before. No, I'll drop down to LTE. Here's a Pixel 3a XL, so about the same speeds we're getting, but I'm in the basement of my house in Louisville, Kentucky, so it doesn't seem to work here. Uh, I'll go out in the drive for a minute, we'll see if we can get some 5G speeds on it. But I do have, you know, like I said, I have 5G on this phone and a couple other phones. It always works pretty great. Alright, so I'm in my Jeep, we're in a different part of town. This is the Pixel 4a 5G with no Wi-Fi, we're just on 5G. But like I said, we're in a totally different part of town than my other tests, so let's uh, Simon be not happy. Hey there, Simon. So you can see the five, it is hitting 5G here and it got, you know, a spike and went back down. So I don't know. All right, so 35 down and like seven and a half up. Not bad, nothing major difference there, but it is on 5G this time you can see. And that's with the eSIM and seven is not happening. All right, thanks for checking this out.